No one wanted videoed. No. Nope. Nobody wanted any part. Customers were swearing at each other. And, and then, like a fist fight occurred. Oh. Welcome to Moto Caves and Coffee. Hey everybody, I'm Andy. Welcome to Moto's Caves and Coffee. Today we're gonna head to Frederick, Maryland to check out a coffee shop there. It's about 11.30 in the morning, so a little late for coffee, but it should be nice. It's a crisp 40 degrees. It's about a 30 minute drive. We're gonna head to Dublin Roasters in Frederick, Maryland. So come on. So here's their website right here. There's Frederick, Maryland. Uh, on their Facebook page, there's Frederick. There's where they are. Um, you can kind of see uh, they're kind of in a little enclave there. So, yeah, not too uh, not too far from um, Baltimore or D.C., about 40 minutes away. There's Baltimore right there. And there they are, about 40-minute drive from there. So you can go ahead and uh, click on the web page. There's our story. Um, go ahead and read about it there. Uh, a lot of... Um, reusable stuff and and fair trade so good on them for that so you can take a look at the reviews they're very highly rated review 4.8 out of 5 i think you'll see my review is going to be a little bit different um but yeah that's uh that's their web page Well, I stopped by the side of the road because I just happened to see this car for sale. It's a Barracuda, not a Fastback. 68, ah, 15,000 bucks. It's a 340, it's the best engine in these cars. Actually, the nose looks really good. Usually those are pretty dented up pretty bad. 15,000 bucks. And we're in Frederick right now. You can see the, uh, I think the, those are the Appalachians in the background. They are. Dublin Roasters right here. Let's check it out. Got a big truck. Parking seems okay. Let's see what we can find out for parking. Quick uh, 360 of the landscape here. All right, let's go check it out. All right, and we are in Dublin Roasters. We'll go uh, check it out and see uh, what we can find. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, whatever you want. Looks like there's some of the pages they got there. Alright. Alright. We'll try the bolt blend first. Alright. And you see it is a endless bottomless cup of coffee. The full blend here. It's a pretty decent blend. It's a little not super hot, so it's only mildly warm right now. Nice acidity to it. It's a medium roast, I can tell. Coffee has a little bit of strawberry flavor. A little bit of brightness, uh, but again, pretty lukewarm, not super hot. Please, by all means, thank you, thanks so much. All right, what did we just get brought? Got a latte and a espresso. Let's try that espresso. Wow, it's kind of an interesting flavor. So the espresso base flavor, we're feeling it's um, lemony and sesame. I say a lemon sesame uh, base flavor. 
pretty smooth, a little bit of acidity to it. All right, I'm gonna try the latte now. The froth is good. Yeah, decent. All right, so this guy was out. Here's my next coffee I tried. All right, oh, it looks like we're refilling right now. Much hotter, this is a Nicaraguan coffee. I'm horrible at the name, but I'll try and remember it. Not as bright, really smooth. Mm. Almost, a, almost a red licorice flavor. Yeah, so this is the Ecuadorian coffee. Well, it's scalding hot. Okay. I might have to let it cool down before I give you a full flavor pump. I'll cool down a little bit. This one has a slight cinnamony, vanilla, and lemon citrus to it. So pretty good. This has been my favorite so far. Now, a lot of people didn't want to get a video. That's okay. So I'm just going to take a quick peek see around. There's a big board up there. shop. Okay, there's some of the coffees on the wall that you can buy. Pretty cool. As well as some of the art. Another room they have. So that was probably the weirdest uh, situation. There was like a fist fight that occurred. I didn't get it on video. Somebody took somebody's seat. The uh, atmosphere in there was a little tense the entire time we were there. So the coffee was decent. Not really sure the atmosphere. Nobody wanted to get videoed. Everyone's like, leave us alone. The entire time, the, it was not tension. It was not relaxed. Right. Uh, coffee was decent. Um, no one wanted videoed. No. Nope. Nobody wanted any part. Customers were swearing at each other. And, and then, like a fist fight occurred. Um, they were throwing people out. Maybe it was a weird time. Maybe it was a one-off experience, but uh, not relaxing. And we just drove uh, 45 minutes to uh, watch a fist fight occur in a coffee shop. So, yeah. Um, go check out Dublin Roasters. Hopefully it's a little different experience. Uh, so we decided to try and uh, salvage this coffee shop review and, and check out some of the uh, the markets here in Frederick, Maryland. Maybe that will uh, reduce the tensions and make it a little more fun. So hopefully uh, we get some good footage of that. Everybody, as I've had some time to think about this review, it came kind of crystallized to me that really this coffee shop was not what I was expecting coffee was decent there was something going on that I couldn't quite place my finger on until I sat back and thought about it it was the staff was friendly enough but nobody wanted to engage they did not want to engage with the customers um, they would provide the customers what they wanted but then got out as quickly as possible and wanted nothing to do with them that's the kind of prevailing feeling I got maybe it was just an off day maybe people were grumpy but it also permeated through the customers who were fighting among themselves. That's not an experience that I really enjoy in a coffee shop. Um, you can be left alone, but the in interactions that you want are, you kind of want a positive interaction. And they just wanted nothing to do with anything. And here's your coffee. Let me know if I can do anything. Almost in that tone. And I'm like, no, I was just trying to be very nice and polite and helpful and wasn't trying to video anybody. But they just did not want any interaction. And not just with me, but with anybody there. So uh, that's my biggest gripe that I saw. And it permeated throughout the uh, review and permeated uh, throughout our time there. And it was catchy. The customers were on edge and it ended up with a big fight. Uh, the staff did end up kicking people out. And they're like, you got to go. They were very quick on it. They're like, you got to go. No fighting here. This is a coffee shop. Uh, but here's your coffee to go. Get out. <laughs> okay. All right. Understandably, but that's the feeling. So hopefully your experience is a little bit different.